Hello there, and today we're going to talk about assemble node. So we have here a simple setup uh, for a fraction, and also a dot network. And as you know, the input there to have a RDB or object, a packed object. So let's get your fraction there, and you're going to see that in each edge just a uh, pack uh, geometry node. So it just it can be the input for the RDB pack geometry. And as you run, it doesn't run as a, a fracture uh, geometry. It mm -hmm. just falls as a whole. And that's where the assemble node uh, helps us out. So let's uh, drop here on an assemble node. And it has an option to do the pack geometry for you. So we don't need the, the, the pack node anymore. And now if you go back and uh, play, you're going to see that now we have kind of the expected result. And this is happening because the assemble node is doing its job. You know, it's helping the solver to identify the geometry not all as a single element, but as an assembled element. And I put here a little uh, setup so we can visualize that. We have these three spheres, and obviously a three different objects. So we're just using a pack. Uh, geometry there, and as we do the input and run the simulation, you can see how how it works. I mean, it does look like all three spheres is just one object, and they simulate like one object, not individual spheres. So if we do the same thing now, but passing through the assemble, you're gonna see how the assemble is gonna identify how the object is assembled, and uh, do the simulation this as individual objects. Well, that's it for this week, and uh, thanks for watching, and see you soon.